My name is Yasmin Seaborn. I'm the general manager of the Fish Stock Bar and Grill. Um, I have Mr. Charlie, Captain Charlie Phillips over here too supporting me. Um, he is the owner of the Fish Stock, Sapelo Sea Farms, and Phillips Seafood. Um, so I've known Captain Charlie since about 2018 when I moved here from Alabama. And up there we had lakes and everything. And so down here I'm really getting, you know, spoiled with the fresh local everything. <laughs> so um, I want to give you guys a brief history of these three companies and then um, let you know what we hope to accomplish with our idea. Um, all three companies are located on the beautiful Sapelo River, and uh, we're just north of Darien in Townsend in the Belleville community. So Sapelo Sea Farms plants, grows, and harvests clams from uh, four millimeter clam and southern quahog seeds and uh, grows them to the clams that you're able to enjoy in your, your favorite dishes and ships them all over the country in Canada. Phillips Seafood is home to wreck fish snap and snapper boats, the Lady Diane, the Captain Lynn, the Fish Hound, the Beagle. Um, they practice sustainable fishing, um, catch fish like wreck fish, snapper, trigger fish, black sea bass, and the list goes on and on. It's, it's very delicious. <laughs> um, the Fish Dog, um, so we focus on fresh local seafood. We get all of our clams and our fish handpicked by Captain Charlie fresh off the boat. We, we, are, we are able to offer something that a lot of restaurants aren't able to. We don't get it right off the back of a truck or frozen, you know, we, it's literally right off the boat, fresh to the plate. So um, these are some of our dishes too. <laughs> so now that you have a little history, I want to go ahead and present our idea to you guys. We want to offer a guided tour of Coastal Georgia's working waterfront. Um, the final product, uh, the fresh off the boat dishes, to include a little history. Um, we want to show the operations, um, give a visual experience with a guide, an exhibit, um, an educational video. We plan to shoot of an in-depth look at the crews working and the process of the planning and the harvesting of the clams, the harvesting and picking of the oysters, um, catching the fish. I mean, we want to really go in depth and show everybody there's more to it than just wetting a line or tossing the net. And there, it, it's just very intense, so we kind of want to give them a more in-depth look at that. Um, our tour will include seafood tastings at the Fish Dock Restaurant, where guests can enjoy local Georgia oysters, um, the Sapelo clams. We can get oysters in from other parts of the United States as well for comparison, so they can see that we do have something truly special in Georgia. Um, I do get a lot of customers pretty often, you know, making comments that our shrimp are sweeter, our oysters are the perfect amount of salty, and if we can get that comparison as well, then that would, that would really be great. <laughs> but um, it'll give the guests an experience of our Georgia waterfronts, uh, learning a little bit of the history, the processes, things we're often asked about in the restaurant. We want to give them that visual experience, and then the food, of course, helps as well. So um, the restaurant already incorporates training for the servers to include the history of the food, um, like where the fish were caught, what it tastes like, how they were caught, if it was ropeless gear was used, um, things of that nature. We have placemats on all of our tables as well that the guests a lot of times take with them. Um, it has our approved shellfish growing areas just for our part of the coast right there. Um, we also have a few brief educational videos that we do showcase right now. They are watched multiple times a day. The guests love that, especially we get a lot of interstate traffic um, traveling down 95 from New York, Canada, just everywhere. And, you know, they, they have a lot of questions. So the, the brief videos that we do have now answer a lot of those questions, but we want to go more in depth and then show them the, uh, the, give them the visual of it too with our exhibit. Our goal is to educate the public um, what makes Georgia seafood different, um, how sustainable fishing is incorporated, how ropeless gear is used. Um, show them, you know, we have, we'll have demonstrations, you know, things of that nature, with it, whether it be video or media, things, things like that. Um, we have an advantage with our location, and we definitely need to utilize that. Um, if awarded, we would utilize this money for video production. That would be the bulk of the $10,000 that we did ask for. To, um, we're also going to put together an exhibit to showcase the clams in different life cycles, the ropeless fishing gear, um, how it's used, and then our presentation media. We would also use funds to train and employ to guide for the tours. We spoke with a few videographers. We have interest in our project. Um, we also plan to start training a few people very soon to include an airboat tour so they can see it all in action, give it a personal touch, you know, things like that. Um, we also feel that it's very vital to work with um, places like the, the Darien Social, with the Chamber, with the uh, Georgia Grand Trail 17, get the word out there and utilize our social media as well. 
And that is our presentation. Yes.